The pre-cooling mode is used to bring down the saloon temperature in a minimum time when the train set is made ready for service during the hot summer season. The fresh air dampers are closed in pre-cool mode. The SID 3500 saloon air conditioner has two independent refrigeration circuits. Each circuit comprises of a scroll compressor, a condenser coil, condenser fans, a thermal expansion valve, a cooling coil or an evaporator. Each circuit is equipped with low and high pressure switches, refrigerant side glasses and a filter dryer. We will now use the schematic to show the functioning of the air conditioner in cool modes. When the air conditioner is operating in cool one mode, only one of the two refrigeration systems is energized. This can either be the LHS circuit or the left hand side circuit or the RHS circuit that is the right hand side circuit. In cool one mode, one of the two compressors is energized. It discharges hot refrigerant gas into the condenser coil. Only one of the two condenser fans is switched on when the cooling load is low. Both fans are switched on when the refrigerant discharge pressure in circuit 1 and or circuit 2 exceeds 20 bar. The condenser coil is cooled with the help of two condenser fans. The condenser fans are always switched on whenever the air conditioner operates in either cool 1 or cool 2 mode. This high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant leaves the condenser coils and passes through the expansion valve. In the expansion valve, the high temperature, high pressure liquid refrigerant coming from the condenser coils will expand. Thus, the temperature falls. This high pressure, high temperature liquid refrigerant will expand into low pressure, low temperature liquid refrigerant. Thus, here we get a mixture of very cold, low temperature liquid and vapor refrigerant coming out of the expansion valve. This mix of cold, liquid and vapor refrigerant goes into the evaporator or the cooling coil. The evaporation of the refrigerant in the cooling coil causes the mixed air to cool down before it is discharged into the supply air duct. The cooled air is finally discharged into the supply air duct running above the ceiling of the passenger saloon. When the air conditioner operates in cool to mode, both the refrigeration circuits are energized together to provide maximum cooling power to the passengers. In cool to mode, both the compressors are energized at the same time. Since there are two air conditioners and four cooling circuits per car, approximately 75% of the maximum cooling power remains available even if one circuit is completely disabled.